Hi, it's your main man Sabado again. I wanted to put out another video and just talk to you this week about a great conversation, a great set of conversations that I had over the weekend uh, just about the channel. And it, it's, it's funny how uh, when you have a YouTube channel, that channel takes on a life of its own and you start to have a bunch of different conversations about the same topic. But this was a really enlightening conversation. So, but before I get into it, I just want to take an opportunity to ask you that if you like the channel and the channel's helpful in any way, please go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel, helps me continue to get content out to you. And uh, let's get into it. So I want to talk about, I was talking to a, a friend of mine uh, over the weekend. I went fishing again. Uh, those of you that know, I, I love to fish. I love to golf. I love to play piano. Um, I'm not good at any one of those things, but it's what I love to do. It's a, a good way to spend some time. But we had an opportunity to talk a little bit about the channel. And, you know, as we talked, my buddy told me, you know, I'm really a a day-to-day -day guy that really doesn't like to plan. I don't I, I don't want to spend a lot of time spending too much energy into the future because it's the whole, you know, what if what if I don't make it that long and so on? And so I disagree. I actually told him it was bullshit and said, when I look at your life, you went to college, you've been saving money, you've been thinking about your career, you've been focusing on your kids. And so there's a lot of things that look at the future and aren't guaranteed. And so I asked them, but I but I wanted to dig into that. I said, let's uncover what it is that you actually mean. And so I asked him, you know, walk me through how you how you reconcile that. And he said, you know, I'm really living a retired life now. I said, really? I said, okay. So tell me what that means. Uh, and just to give you a little background, my buddy, he's a teacher. So anybody that knows. Uh, knows that school teachers don't make a lot of money. And so I think he had gotten to this point in his life where he had resigned to the fact, I'll retire whenever I can. Teacher salaries aren't that big, so teachers' pensions aren't that big. Hopefully I have Social Security by the time I get there. And so I want to live the best life that I can right now. Um, he has three months off a year. Uh, and he he told me I travel with my my family, um, I travel with my friends, and in fact, this whole conversation took place during a during a fishing trip, a, a, a weekend fishing trip, me and a couple of a couple of guys, and you know, but he just he just the whole idea of retiring early it it just wasn't a conversation that he wanted to have, and I thought it was interesting because had you asked me five years ago early retirement wouldn't have been something that I thought about just because it seems so overwhelming. And I think for a lot of you, the idea of thinking about retiring early is a great kind of dream, but it's not something that, that you really think of. And so I totally agreed with him. I said, you know, I get it. I understand why the content of this channel may seem a bit overwhelming to you because it doesn't seem uh, that you, you'll get there. But the fact that you are traveling, you're taking those three months out of the year to go across the country, to go across the world. I think he's going to Europe this summer. Uh, he's going on a on a trip on in June, uh, taking a a cruise to Alaska with his family. So I, you know, I I kind of agree that he's living the life he wants to live, even though he's not retired. And so, do I agree that it's a retirement life? Kind of, but not really, because he still has some of that stress. But I did, I did tend to agree with him, um, and I and I spent a, you know, it's it's funny because I, I look back at myself, and I spent a lot of time wrapped up in my ambition. Uh, you know, I was a driver. I, I I was the guy that got things done, and sometimes it created situations where it, where it created stress for others, it created angst for others, and so. There were a lot of things that I passed up and a lot of things that I missed. A lot of relationships that I had with people in my family, outside of my family, that I didn't take the time to cultivate, that I didn't take the time to
to really uh, invest in. And I think I lost some friends because of it. I think some of my personal and familiar relationships uh, were impacted because of it. Because again, when it came to making money, when it came to working hard, when it came to giving good advice, when it came to doing, uh, I was that guy. But in terms of everything else, it, it just, they were just, they were all impacted. I mean, I, I worked a lot. I, I think I mentioned in another video that for a long period of my career, I was going around the country doing uh, uh, leadership seminars and I was on the road 40 weeks a year. And so the only time that I wasn't on the road was during the Thanksgiving week. And, and that time, sometimes we had meetings, uh, there Christmas and, and some of those other weeks. But I, for the most part, I was on a plane on Monday, teaching class Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then coming back on Friday. So if you ever saw the movie with George Clooney, the air up there, uh, that was me. That was my life. And so, you know, you saw how things worked with him. That's how things worked with me. Um, and so, you know, my advice as, as a result of that conversation and, and, and that I'd like to share with all of you is try to be like my buddy. I, I think he has a nice balance. He, he, he doesn't lose today chasing tomorrow. It's easy to look at, at, at this channel. You see me up here and I'm talking and I, I think I have a fairly common uh, life story to, to a lot of us. I, I worked, I worked hard. I, I tried to get places, but a lot of that that you didn't see behind the scenes was me really going after it. And I didn't have that balance. So I, I, and, I and I was really chasing tomorrow to get at the expense of today. And I, I don't think, looking back, I don't think that was necessary. That was that was a really strong lesson I learned. Um, but I do think now, with all that being said, I do think it is important to keep an eye on the future. Understand where it is that you're trying to go, because like I told my buddy, that's fine, you might not make it, but what happens if you do? And you don't plan for that. You don't plan for how you're gonna spend time with your spouse in retirement. Because when you're working, you're fitting everything in. You get retired, you have all of the time, and you're trying to fill time because you realize that there's more than 40 hours a week that, that you're working. Uh, so keep an eye out for the future. And then figure out, even though he felt like his he's living his retired life now, does that change when he does get to that point? And just start thinking about it. You know, I think the kids now talk about manifesting. Uh, and I think there's some truth to that because you have to manifest your, you have to see where it is you want to be. I want to be someplace, so I have to visualize it. I have to picture it. I have to manifest it. And so what does that look like in your retirement life? We think about that for work. We think about that for our finances. We think about that for all the goals that we're trying to set. But we don't necessarily think about it for a lot of our lives. And I know I didn't. When I was on the road, I was just thinking about flying a United Economy Plus seat, getting an Economy Plus seat, because at 6 eight, I needed the leg room. And hoping I got the upgrade to first class because I was 1K because I had 100,000 miles traveling every year. So again, I, but I didn't do that. And so as I got closer, fortunately, I was able to get myself into some situations that allowed me and really forced me to look, think about uh, the future and and come up with what my retired life was. But I, I it's, it's easy for us to get caught into thinking about where it is we want to be, but not thinking about what that actually looks like. So think about what your retired life looks like, you know, and then identify those things that you can do now and to what degree. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting because we can't do everything. You know, when you look at, uh, like you look at me and you say, this guy is, is, a, is an average guy and he's 52 and he's retired and it all just is, is coming together. But that's not the case. There's a lot of other pieces. This The journey to get to this moment right now was about a 10-year, 15-year journey where I had to start thinking about little pieces. But again, what, you know, I, I like to say that how do you eat an elephant? One bite of a t at a time. How do you move a mountain? One grain of uh, dirt at a time. And so you have to look at retirement the same way. In small chunks, what are the things I could do now? Can I take a hundred bucks a month or a hundred bucks whenever I get paid more and put that into, into some type of retirement account that's going to grow. Can I pay off that credit card debt that's been lingering for 
X amount of time? Are there those little steps? Because what ends up happening is you, you get those little steps moving forward, and then all of a sudden you got this great accomplishment, and people are saying, wow, I can't believe that you did that. And you're saying, wow, it was really easy because all you did was take certain steps. So when you look at it, you know, what are those things that you could do now? But what to what degree? You don't have to do them all today. Um, and I, I think in the world of social media, we see a lot of the outcomes, but we don't necessarily understand the work that went into it. So start to think about what are some of those things that you can do today? And if again, I, there's resources that are out there. If, if anybody has any questions for me on that, ask me. I, I can talk to you about you know, what are some, some little steps? You know, as I, as I look at, as I look at this YouTube channel, I go on YouTube, um, and, and see videos that are similar in talking about retirement and talking about finances. And they've got a million followers and, and every video gets 25,000 views. I mean, I might be lucky if I get 50 views and I, I I'm fortunate enough to have 41 subscribers and, but again, it starts small, getting the message out. I can't expect to go out in the first day and have that message go out to a million people. Um, but it's it's working slow. And so hopefully what you're seeing is a progress in the channel. And I think that progress is, is similar and mirrors the type of progress that you have as you start to get to where it is that, that you want to be. But, you know, so you, if you understand the degree, then you don't put the expectations on yourself that are too high and get overwhelmed. Um, and, and balance that, you know, with your future planning, just, and think about where do I want to be and, and what does that really look like? Yeah. I, I had an individual tell me one day that they wanted to win the lottery and they hope they won the lottery. So I said, well, what is it that you're going to do when they win the lottery? And they said, we'll get a job that's less stressful. And so I said, well, what's the use of winning the lottery? If you're going to get another job, what's stopping you from finding a job that's less stressful now? And I think sometimes we get so overwhelmed and caught into what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I, I suspect that a lot of you watching the channel today are thinking the same thing. Like, you know, Sabado, this all seems cool and everything, but I just can't do it. And I'm here to say, I think you can, I think you can do it. It just may not happen today. But what you don't want to do is get yourself to that point and not know what you're going to do. Or you get to a point where you where you can't work. You know, like my father was, my mother and my father always had plans of doing all this traveling and stuff when they retired. And then my father had some strokes when he was in his 60s and eventually passed away and never got the opportunity um, to do that. So, you know, think about your future plan and think about where it is you want to go, but balance that and don't, don't not uh, focus on today. Um, stay focused on the big picture. It's it's funny. Sometimes we we I, I find myself in these situations where I want to make a, a a very direct decision with with very direct consequences that are going to take me to a direct solution right now. But by doing that, it's going to impact some of these other things. Or the 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 easiest analogy I could think of is you have the person that goes to a bar, has a couple drinks, and doesn't want to spend the $20 for the Uber ride to get home. And I get it because if you get home late, there might be somebody waiting for you at home and they might get upset or, or some of those types of dynamics play out or something like that. But if you really think about it, if you go and you get pulled over by the police after having a couple of drinks, now look at the costs on your reputation, the impacts on your license, God forbid you get into an accident and you actually hurt somebody uh, or you hurt yourself and you, you never make it home. So when you look at the bigger picture, $20 is worth the peace of mind. $20 is worth the safety and not worrying about having to go take alcoholic uh, anonymous classes under court order because you got pulled over after having drinks and you may not have even, even felt drunk. Well, it's the same thing. I think when you look at Tr looking at your future and looking at the, th the decisions that you have to make, because we all have to make decisions. I know some of us look at these videos and think, wow, I have some decisions that I need to make um, in order to get to where I want to be. And, and trust me, I'm here to support you in those decisions. If you ever have a question about where to go, how to get someplace, or even want to just think through 
maybe a course of action. I could certainly help you with that. Or if you need resources, I could certainly help you with obtaining resources. Um, but again, it's, it's about looking at the bigger picture. And the reality is uh, only 18% of people retire early. And so, and I understand that. And I, I know that there's an incredible amount of fortunate circumstances that have to occur, but you know, we have to think about how we get there because folks, it's not luck. It's, it's again, as I like to call it, labor under correct knowledge. I just happened to get the information early and was able to action the information early. And so it's my hope that you're able now to access the information and move it and move it forward. And some of you may already be on the path and, and not and not know it yet. So, but stay focused on the big picture and don't lose. And this is the biggest piece of, of advice I have for you. Don't lose today and search for tomorrow. There are some things that were gravely impacted with me, and I, you know, I, I don't share a lot of those publicly. But um, there are some some very very deep relationships that I hold dearly that were deeply impacted because my search for tomorrow and it's it's interesting because some of that was trying to make a better life for for others but sometimes it's as I like to say it's not what you say it's what the other person hears and sometimes you judge others we have a tendency to judge others by their actions and yourself by your intentions and so we may be thinking that we're doing the right thing spending time I thought. I was doing the right thing by working 40, uh, you know, traveling 40 weeks a year and doing these leadership seminars and all that. But I had two kids at home that were uh, that were saying, you know, where's my dad all the time? And and so it, there, there's an impact there. So, I, again, don't lose sight of 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 today um, because of your search for tomorrow. Try to balance the two out. And I guarantee you, you'll find yourself in, in the right situation. And then you'll be like my buddy that I, I, I was spending time with over the weekend. Then, you know, you don't necessarily have to wait for retirement to live your best life. I think everybody should live their best life every day. I think everybody should have the perspective of my buddy and be able to say, look, I may still have some of the stresses of the job. I still may have the demands of work and, and some of those uh, different types of variables in our lives, but I, I, I'm living pretty good today. And I just want us all to live good today. So when we get down the path, um, you know, we're prepared for tomorrow and we could fully appreciate tomorrow as we go forward. So that's about all I had. I, I thought it was really important to come and share that. But again, I just ask um, if you like this video, please um, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Um, I read all the comments. I try to respond to all the comments. I appreciate the comments that I've, I've gotten to this point. Uh, I'm continuing to put content out every uh, Wednesday and Saturday and uh, some shorts during the week. So you'll see me pop up in your, in your shorts feed during the week. But it's, it's just really important that we have, we all have a, an opportunity to help shape some of what tomorrow looks like for us. And, and, and for a lot of us, we're looking for our tomorrows to be a little bit different than our todays. And I'm here to help you do that. So I'm Sabado, time for me to go. Have a good rest of your evening. Please like or subscribe to the channel and we will talk soon.